Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now the cat today is hiding a very greasy head. <laughs> very greasy. But I'm going out tomorrow and there's no point me washing my hair before riding. You know what I mean? I'm also croaky and this is another reason why I have not been on YouTube. Did I get a YouTube video out last week since I've been back from holiday? I think I did, didn't I? I can't remember. But anyway, if I haven't, I've been on holiday and then I came back and we had like a four hour delay on the flight. Well, it wasn't, I think it was about two hours. I think I'm being a little bit dramatic there. Um, but we were on the plane and there was like no open windows, no aircon because the plane wasn't on at the time. And there's a full plane of however many people you can fit on a plane in one space. Um, so I've come back poorly. Um, I've done a million COVID tests, they've all come back negative, so I'm assuming it wasn't or isn't COVID, um, and that's all I can really do is test and it's all negative. Um, but I have a really bad cold, which kind of seems a little bit more than a cold, but I don't know. I've, been, I've literally been cold-like for the last 10, 11 days. I'm just starting to get my croak back. I'm not snotty anymore, which is fantastic, but I've had it all. I've had tonsillitis, I've had a really bad cold, and then I've gone back to tonsillitis, then a really bad cold, and I've been pushing through. I've been still living my life, um, but I haven't filmed because today is the first day I'm at some sort of more normality with my voice. So today's video, the sun is kind of intermittently out, there's some clouds, so I'm definitely taking a coat with me. I'm gonna be riding, I'm gonna try and remember to take my pivot so you can see some ridden footage if the school is free and there's not other horses and other people that I might, you know, kind of get in the way of. Um, but both horses are in desperate need of a pamper. And when I say pamper, I'm meaning like jaws trimmed, a little bit of a bath for Ringo, don't think I'll get water near truly just yet, quite like living. Um, I think should actually be fine, but um, a good old beauty beauty salon day for both horses and if you're watching Love Island at the moment not that kind of beauty salon and I don't really understand where that even came from so anybody that's watching Love Island how does that become beauty salon am I just a bit of a grandma like am I just not cool <laughs> I don't know I don't really understand how they've kind of got that terminology to describe those kind of activities but anyway um yes so yes pamper day um I've charged up my clippers and truly hates the clippers actually she doesn't she doesn't mind them by her bum she hates them around her jaw um but i've only tried it once before and she is obviously going to have to eventually get used to them so i think today um i will trim her jaw first with scissors and then i will put the clippers on and just stand in the stable with her for a while and she can smell them she can try and get over her fear basically she, I don't think she likes the flies and I think when they're buzzing they kind of sound like a fly and she kind of goes into meltdown not into like hysteria um but she just kind of breaks down has a little bit of a like midlife crisis or early life crisis 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 in her um her kind of world so she needs to get used to them and I hate it when you have to and I hate it when people have to you know kind of drug their horses to clip them because they're terrified of the clippers I don't want to do that so I'm just going to slowly and gradually get her used to the clippers um and just eventually hopefully because Ringo loves it Ringo falls asleep while I'm doing it like he absolutely loves his trip to the barbers um it's like his favorite thing like it's literally his favorite thing ever like today is going to be Ringo's idea of heaven um so I think she needs to kind of enjoy it so I'm gonna try also gonna be picking out her feet now I've been really getting her used to this um when I bought her they did say that you know she was used to having her feet her feet Pete fit, pit, Pete fit, <laughs> her feet picked out. Um, you can tell I've got a cold and I'm ill because my brain is just not in gear this week. Um, so I've been doing that a lot recently. She is so good. She just gets a bit wobbly sometimes and she's like, I can't stand on three legs and kind of has a wobble. So I am doing things like that because I'm just, I'm really practicing doing like lots of things like that with her. She's also got a new thing where she reverses up to me so much that I'm like in, <laughs> in the wall because um, she likes her bum scratched. So I've learned that. It's not because the first time she did it, I was thinking, is she going to kick me? Am I about to die? Like, oh, um, no. She looks around and if I stop, she kind of looks around and why are you stopping? Um, so yes, that's for a bum scratch. That's like her newest thing at the moment. Update, I think I updated you last time. She's now on the main side of the yard, on Ringo's side in her own little field. She comes in during the day because that field is used during the day for other horses and then she's out um, for the rest of the time, which I think is the most amazing thing for her ever because she's getting used to being in a stable, which obviously the first week she was here and she was stabled while she was was isolating, getting all the vaccinations and things, she went into meltdown in the stable. The stable was disgusting. Like there was just horse poo and we just 
oh it was atrocious she was trying to jump out she was knocking her head that's why she's got so many cuts on her head um she hated it and now i think as well because she's in like the main block and she's got friends on either side of her she is like the most chilled out ever i got back from holiday and all the girls came up and they were like, your horse is so good. And I was like, I know he is, thinking Ringo. And they're like, no, 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 truly. Um, she's just, she's like, I feel like I'm really lucky with horses at the moment. I'm going to touch wood and I'm not going to speak too soon. But I have two horses that are just angels in every way so far. So she's just... She's just angelic, and even leading her out to the field, I think it was in my last video, um, and it's on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> I can't speak. It was on TikTok the other day as well, um, of me leading her to the field. She almost walks backwards, it's that slow. Like, I was kind of walking normally, and then really having to, like, walk like a snail, because she just walks that steadily to the field. Like, what, what an angel. Um, it's not normal, I don't think. Um, I don't know, but I don't think it's normal. And then you turn her out and she doesn't charge off and buck and she stays by you. And she's just, oh, she's such a princess. And I'm actually, my voice is going, um, I'm actually a little bit obsessed. And if you follow me on Instagram, there's a lot of truly on there at the moment because I'm a little bit obsessed. And then Ringo update, same as usual. He's an angel and he's doing really well. Um, we had well a week and a half off of training while I was on holiday and then in between me being poorly he's only been ridden about two or three times so we're just kind of getting back up to speed of where we were a couple of weeks ago but actually my last session not yesterday but the day before he was amazing um so hopefully today we're going to be back to kind of where we were how we were and back to training again because it's so hard isn't it when you have a couple of days or weeks or whatever it is off um <clears throat> it is literally like 10 steps forward and 20 steps back um for both horse and rider you know because you kind of forget how to ride and what to do they're forgetting how to do and what to do and you're kind of not I don't know. I don't really know what I'm on about. I'm going to stop talking now because, again, it's been like 10 minutes. Um, but yes, I will see you at the yard. Hi, baby. Look at your lip. Look at the lip. <laughs> hey, princess. You okay? Should I come in? You stay there. I'm going to come in very quietly and you can have a little cuddle. A little sleepy baby cuddle. There. Oh, there we go. Oh, mummy, sit on the shavings and get covered in shavings. Hi. Mm. Are you snoring? You are snoring, aren't you, baby? <laughs> baby. Hmm? I'm literally covered in shavings.
his proper seat now. It's just like that shut. Snooze in. Again up, or are you rolling again? Let me go have my hat. <laughs> and she's up. Let me gonna go for my hat. I don't think you can get it, can you? Yeah. Oh, nice bed head. Nice bed head. I have my hat, thank you. Don't it? It's mine. I'm covered in shavings. I'm covered in shavings. Number one is, would you like a stud muffin? Yeah? Oh, you dropped it. I think it's good you snatch. <laughs> Just like bite it, you get skin. There we go. <laughs> you need to learn how to take something out of someone's hand without like, basically she just goes like, um, and gets skin. <laughs> skin with it. So shall we give a quick brush before? Oh, yes, yeah, we're very scary today.
comes off and then I need a little flaps. I need a lot of little flaps. She doesn't like it. I wish they were quiet. I don't know if there's a way of making them quieter. There isn't, is there? Are you scary? You're not really doing too much. You're just kind of looking. Come here. Come on now. See? They're gone. And actually, oh, they make a really good little scratcher. See? That's how they go when they do zzzz. Look at that. Uh oh. Can we not catch you now? Are you uncatchable? Oh dear. I'm gonna pull out. I'm not gonna have mommy anymore. She's got the big bumblebee in her hand. <laughs> Isn't it scary? Really? No. It's not yet. Do you want to have another sniff? Just give it a sniff. Look. It's not even on. You can't just get in front of it, it's not on, can you? It's touching me. Oh, it's not scary. See? How, so if anybody has any tips of how to get the new stick offers, please let me know. Oh, stud muffins. We're friends. Shall I try the clippers with a stud muffin? Hey, shall we do that? Let's have a go. Go back. I'm going to them in a second. I just want to try. Right, we're going to see if with a stud muffin, if the clippers are any more of a friend. Yes, seem not scared. Oh, a little bit. Come here then, you can have it. Have it then, come on. Mm. I've got another one. Yeah. Thank you, mate, no pretty. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Now, I've just heard that not many one-year-olds can even have a brush or be sprayed. That's how good you are. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Hey, I didn't know that was a thing. Now, the one thing I don't like is how much mane is here because it makes you look a bit common. Hey, come here. That's it. There you go. That's not clippers now. No, it's not. Should do the rake on your bum for a minute then. Just so you know that I've not got nothing scary now. But nice. It's a nice scratch, isn't it? Ooh, that's lovely. Oh, it's a bit long though. A bit long, like, cut straight, that's it. Bit better. Okay, so I was gonna do full on, like, rolled up plaits, but um, I haven't got enough fans and <laughs> they're not the best plaits in the world anyway, so. We've just done some little plaits. And look at all the blonde hair. And she's just a tear like a rock, to be honest. She's so cute. So we've got our new hair all plaited up, looking a little bit bizarre to be honest, it's not the best job in the world. And we've scissored underneath her jawline, which actually, she actually really liked the scissors a minute ago, but I didn't film that because I feel like I filmed so much, it's very boring. And then I've given her a good brush, and then, ooh. and then when she first arrived I kind of decided that to clip this like a show pony, which wasn't the best move in the world. So I'm just growing that out slightly, but I've kind of like raked the sides a little bit to make it a little bit more kind of flowing with the rest of her slightly. And then, now let's have a look at the pretty pony. Hi, pretty pony. Hello. Yes, you're very pretty. And you're all plaited up, but I'm not gonna give you a bum rub. Nope, you've had enough today. <laughs> okay, and now it's Ringo's turn for his pamper. You're so much easier. You're not a fidget, are you? I'm oh, scared of things. I'm nearly kind of over that itchy season, aren't we? I'm nearly there. Are you going to like this? This is Dingo's favourite. Yeah. Oh, Dingo, that's favourite. Oh, 
Fahrrad. Und das hier. Und das hier. Oh, he loves it. This is his favorite. <laughs> this is not being drowned. This is like, this is heaven. A little chin massage. <laughs> this he'll leave his hay net for. Actually, quite a lot of fluff under there, baby. <laughs> Barbers. I'm not very good. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I know, he sleeps. <laughs> Little massage, isn't it? See? Your favourite. <laughs> So it's tack up time by Mr. Handsome. Okay, that's our favourite saddle pad, isn't it? Best is 
different in a whole wide world, don't you? I'm tired. What are you tired from? We had a day off yesterday. We did. And day before, actually. No, not day before, I can't remember. I'm a bit fitter today. I'm get a bit heavier. A bit longer, not heavier, longer. Yeah, like 30 minutes. How does that sound? How does 30 minutes sound? Good or bad? Hmm, I don't know. Don't. Oh, thank God that didn't blow off. Just the hair everywhere now. That's nice. Lovely. <laughs> don't know why I bother brushing. Okay. We need gloves. And a hat. And I haven't got a hairband. Oh, hey, bye. Silly mummy, not got a hairband. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So he's here and he's ready, and it's not very nice. It's windy, it feels like the winter, and it's the 2nd of July. <laughs> I need to just get a thaff and then we're going to jump on, aren't we? Are enthusiastic today? Yes? No? Don't know? Not sure? How are you feeling? Undecided? Oh, what have you done? What's the lip doing? Hey, come on then. Do the mountain block. Oh, don't you blow that off your ears, you silly Billy. Come on. Yes, I know. Come on. Dingo. Dingo. Earth to Dingo. Hi. Hello. You want to follow me? Hello. Hello. Come to me. Yes. Not over there to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's going off on its own. <laughs> Where are you off to? <laughs> you know which way we've got to go. Come on. This way, please. This way. There we go. That's the direction we need. Come on. No, we're going to refuse all. No, I'll get you the proper way. Come on. There we go. How are we getting there? Here we are on. <laughs> Here we are. Nice grey day. As we can see, we're filthy. But also, as we can see, this that was long is now not so long because it has been slightly rubbed or itched. And I'm going to say it's like been slightly itched and not rubbed because there is still hair there. It's just, that's right, it's just not as long as we had it, but this is better than last year. It was just fully bold, like the whole way up. So from literally from here to there was all bold. So at least this winter will probably fully grow back, I'm assuming. And then next year, I think I need to get the Sweet Itch products on from like the end of January um, and get him on his reduced turnout from about February time, just as that kind of spring grass is coming up. As I think it makes the, the blood sweeter, which obviously attracts more of the midges. Turning. Come on, I've not really got much doing right now. Um, so, yes, that's going to be the plan for next year. But I think another month's time and he can go back on his full hours. So if you're new here, reduced hours basically because he does maybe in any of the winter because he has three itch. Um, the midges are worse in the morning and evening. So he's out from like 12 until about 3 o'clock or 11 to 3, I think it is. Um, whereas usually he's out all day enjoying the grass and the fresh air, but because it makes him super itchy, he's on reduced during the spring and summer. Um, so he's been on that reduced from about April, maybe end of April. So I think next year, I'll probably do it from March, um, end of February, early March. And then I think probably by, for, like by about August, he'll be back out, well, end of August, going into, going into September, he can be out for the day. Um, but yeah, it's not very nice guys, it literally, it's like winter. It's really not fun. Is it didn't go there? So having a nice little stretchy warm up as per usual and then I'll pick him up. And it feels like rain, so it might not end up being a 30 minute one. It might end up being about a 15, 20 if it's gonna rain. Um, but I'm gonna do a warm up in trot so that we can kind of get on and get working a bit quicker than usual. There we are. <laughs> and yes, I have not matched the saddle pad very well today. Brown and navy and pink. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna get on now guys.
Okay, okay. So, let's have a shake. He looked a lot tidier, actually, before he had a shake. <laughs> but we are all sparkly and clean. I'm not going to say we're 100% clean because um, I think you'd need 13 baths in a row to get all the dirt out completely. And it's the time, and everyone else is getting their dinner. And you can see his. Hey. But we're all sparkly and clean now. We've been drowned. But we're all sparkly and clean now. <laughs> Mr. Sparkly! Oh, that doesn't my dinner. That's not my dinner. Are you done now, darling? Dinner time. Yes. I'm ending this video at hopper seven at night. I have just... My dogs are breathing very awkwardly in the background. Um, I have just got home from the yard. I have been there all day. Literally all day. Um, but in the end, it was just me and the girls sat on the yard floor. Now, we could have actually gone into the kitchen and sat on the sofas, but we sat on the yard floor, on the concrete, um, for about two hours, chatting away. Um, so, I am now ending this video. I need a bath, I need food, and I am just disgustingly filthy, so it's bath before food. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't boring. I don't really know what's gone on in this video, so hopefully it wasn't boring when I come to edit it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one.